88.1 FM. It is a moment with Purple. We have landed, boom, pow, taking over your airways as usual. I'm your hostess with the most of Purple Queen, a friend to every queen in a billion kings' wifey dreams. And we got... No you, Tommy. I'm in the building, as usual. And like I said, I am not your daddy. <laughs> and we got... Tony Payton Jr., uh, state representative for the 179th district, which is uh, Honey Park, Frankfurt, Feltonville, Albany, and Oxford Circle. I represent parts of uh, the we love when Philadelphia politicians take time out of their day to come and talk to the people. That's it. I mean, you know, this might not be your district, but you're still talking to the people. And one of the major reasons why I wanted to have Tony Payton Jr. come join us on the show today is because he's a young buck in this game, right? Are you like one of the youngest Philadelphia politicians out there right now, right? Uh, yeah. One of the, are you the youngest or one of the youngest? Elect, I'm the youngest elected. You are right. youngest current elected official, Tony Payton Jr. So right now everybody get really close to your radio because you're going to learn a thing or two. I cannot take the picture on Instagram of Purple Queen because she's always moving. I, no, it's because you got an Android. I know. I, that too. <laughs> that too. Man, this is on me. Uh, I, 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 gotta, I don't even take pictures of myself on Instagram. I'm so horrible. I, I never take an Instagram picture. I think the whole point is like to instantly gram a picture. It's well, so all of mine are already photoed. <laughs> I get about my little photo gallery. You know, okay, I'm paused. No, it's too late. All right, Dave. Okay. Anyway, it's too late. That's fact, I quit. <laughs> we have we have independent entertainment. Jamil being Bragg in the building. I'm so grateful you guys just don't know, especially until we start live streaming. Like they are, they are our backbone here. Eighty-eight point one five. They make us visual to you online. So, matter of fact, go see our latest footage. Um, you can Google us. Eighty-eight point one FM. Even more purple to see. We have Mel Austin Jr. Um, we have so much footage up there. We have some Vanessa Brown came to join us. You know, we, we're just really, really blessed that we're here to talk to you people, to the, to the people. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, now, so, Brother Tony. Lunch is served somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're used to it, brother. No, 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 no. Hot uh, plate. Brother, <laughs> brother, brother, brother State Representative. Brother State Representative. T2 Smooth Payton. Yes, Tony Payton Jr. in the building, 179th District. So. We were talking and discussing, it's all kinds of crazy violence going on in the news. I was just shocked. I mean, I didn't want to get off the topic, but this whole kitty city daycare thing in Pittsburgh, was it Virginia? This little boy went rampant crazy and beat up all the kids in the daycare. Yo, if that little boy ever end up at any school that my kid is at, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. I ain't calling the cops. You're not calling the cops. I ain't you calling the cops. nine, though. That, wait, wait, wait. To See, you can't. You can't do a wrong with a wrong. You I'm gonna get it. You know, you, know, you, know, you, know, you, you don't want to beat up a nine year old because I don't want right. to see you go to jail. I've been doing a long time. I do not want to see you go to jail. I don't want people telling you what to do. Right. What to do. We're gonna do it. We're gonna take a shower. Hey, hey, look, long, no bruises, right? I ain't got to be able to say this. I want you guys to love one time. I think it was um, it, whatever. See, it, 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 if they play back this tape, uh, that's premeditated, bro. It's premeditated. I ain't going to Pittsburgh to beat that little bit. Vicksburg, I think it was Vicksburg. Vicksburg County, yeah. I think. Yeah, I think Somewhere it's, down it's, south. Yeah, down south. But the crazy thing is you gotta understand, go Google it. Google it, nine-year-old goes wacko on a daycare, okay? No, Google. Where in the world is Vicksburg? It's That's in Virginia, something like that. South Carolina. It looks something like that. You uh, ain't I, never heard. I, I think it might be. It's, it's Vicksburg, Vicksburg County, 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 which is in South Carolina. South Carolina. Somewhere. Guess what? We're going to Google it so we get it right because we do like to report the proper news here. We, we appreciate facts here. But as um, State Rep Tony Payton was saying, like, like Tom, Tommy, uh, many parents feel like this. Like, I would go and beat that kid ass. You know, mm -hmm. many people feel like that. However, a wrong with a wrong is going to be tragic. You, how do you look? You don't get no points. But the the, the, the main point is that what's what's the lesson, right? What's the lesson. You don't respond to violence with violence, right? We got we got to teach our kids to use language, right? To use language to resolve disputes, because if we show them you respond to violence with violence, it it escalates. Right. It eventually escalates and you get situations like we see every day here. Right. Oh, you played me. Now I'm going to shoot you because you played me. That's the next My step. ego is hurt. Right. right. The only way I know how to solve this 
is with violence. Right. Right? Violence begets violence begets, begets violence. violence. That's and right. it's all wrong. That's right? right. So if you just use your words, and, 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 and I'm not talking to people like you. Come here, sir. Children, Come here, sir. Let me, let me talk to you. Let me tell you why I don't drop kick my daughter in the head. Let me take you. I have, I, have a, I, have a seven, I have a seven month old, right? Okay. He's close to his first words, right? Right. And when he gets upset, I'm going to teach him to use his words to express himself. That's good. Because rather than getting upset, rather than pouting, you can talk about, talk about it. What they say is, they you don't learn anything. They may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. But they're educational. That, that's a really proper and good answer. No Q-Tommy. No Q-Tommy. I, I mean, I hear that. I hear that. I really do. I hear all of that. Sounds good. You know, but, you know, I come from an old-fashioned family. You know, go outside, get that switch. You know what I mean? And I, you know, look, all I'm saying is... What are you saying? You won't catch my grandma in no trash can in an alley because she said something to me that I didn't like and I had to put in a police. It's called respect. Yeah. It's called respect. You know, and there's nothing wrong. I see nothing wrong with chastising your children. Your with, children. I said, I said, I said, you, I, I said okay. your children. I said your children. Right. I said your children. No one else. Does. See, this is my thing. What is your thing? Because if I come to you yes. and I tell you that your daughter or your son just mangled my young buck in the face, right? I don't expect you to sit there and talk to your son in front of me. See, this is this is where this is where it gets a uh, a little a little dangerous right here. But let me stop you. I don't want to cut you off, but let me stop you because you're right. You're right. You, you let don't mom or his father exactly, you up. exactly. Mom you. or dad tighten you up. You as a parent tighten up your child. That's wrong. You cannot, as another adult, go beat up a nine-year-old who drop kicked your child. As bad as it look on that video, because that was vicious. You cannot be the one to go beat up that nine-year-old kid that drop kicked your child. Well, you don't know Q-Tommy think it's funny. I would never, I, I would never go hit anybody else's child. Yeah. But, you know, I might trip him or something. Oh, and look, but, that, you know, that is assault, too. They got that guy. Remember that coach who tripped the other kid on the other team? We seen that's that one. They got it on TMZ. Tape. That's because they got it on tape. Beat they got it on TMZ. Beat no Q-Tommy. He is a daggone mess. Beat, beat me. Everybody beat. got smartphones. Everybody <laughs> got smartphones. <laughs> Everybody. I mean, guess what? The, you can be the next. You can be that. And that's, that's what I actually like about the society today because it is a regulation. It's they're kind of regulating the cops even, you know? They're trying to cut down that police brutality because now cops are taking a second thought, some of them. Not really. Oh, uh, not really. No. Be, be, look, listen, these cops need some training. Wow. Because they are beating folks up every day. Every day, you're right. Because, I, I mean, it, uh, not a week goes by where I don't get somebody in my office saying the cops rough them up. Wow. It's a training issue, it's a respect issue, it's a right. cultural competency right. issue. Right, right, right. It's and, a, and, and it, it's it's a you have a you have a historic sense of disdain for the communities that they serve. Right. Right? How do you get over that? I would say look, fire everybody. Mm -hmm. Rehire. And, tra retrain. and, and re retrain and rehire the ones that can come to West Philly and communicate with people. I like that, that understand the community. I like that. I agree because at the basis of everything is training for every sector, every sector of business. Training is the key to your company being successful or failing. So I, I mean, I think I think a lot of the issue with the cops is that a lot of the a lot of the police who police the areas that they're in that are in the districts that work in the districts that they're in do not come from those particular type of neighborhoods, so to speak. You know, so they tend to speak to someone down here with a certain disrespect mm. level than they would in their own neighborhood. You right. understand what I'm saying? Absolutely. I, I agree with that statement. Absolutely. And, you know, speaking of which, I'm proposing a kiss to my sister, Officer Brown. She is a cop and she's a good cop. Yeah. So, and she, you know, she's very serious about her job and, you know, she doesn't just go roughing up people who are unwarranted to roughing up. <laughs> Everybody has a kiss to you, boo. I love you. I heard some your sister's stories. Right, but then again, but just like, the, I think it was us in North Philly, the, uh, uh, the Cambodian guy, oh, yeah. oh, Tink yeah. Tang, got killed by a cop. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think, here's the other thing is that, in today's society, when we have tasers and dark guns and tranquilizers, why are we still shooting people to death? I just want to know when police will be held responsible for some of their actions. You yeah. know, I mean, it's like, you know, shoot first. 
and, right. and we'll cover it up later. Right, and to shoot to kill. It's not like shoot the wound. Like if you have a guy, you're an officer. Why are you not shooting for the shoulder, the leg? Why are you not disabling these people? You're killing them. Yeah, you're right. And, and, and in this case, I will stick up for my friend Seth Williams. Okay. And he has, for the first time in the history of the city, prosecuted cops that have done the wrong thing. Yes. And that, and, that, and that has not happened. Right. That has not happened. Right. And that's important because that cop who shot that Cambodian guy, yes, the facts are the Cambodian guy had a gun, he was shooting at somebody else or something like that. Okay. He was shooting, and he was shooting at a vehicle he was that was going past. Going past. And the cops ordered him to put his gun down. Right. He didn't, so they fired. So where's the taser? We got millions of where's the taser? Where's the tranquilizer gun to put this what kid out? What they found out later was that this kid was licensed to carry. Right. So, you know, I mean, what wow. they should have done was wow. subdue him, right. taking his firearm That's right. and investigating. That's right. To see what was going on. Especially when people are threatened by the police right now. They're scared. They don't even know, you know, who to trust. Now, what they're saying is, is that a lot of the police officers in that area are riding by this memorial and mocking, them. mocking the Cambodian community. That's so disrespectful. Giving them the middle finger. So disrespectful. You know, telling them they shouldn't be crying over that. They should be... Yeah. Yes. You know, on on the cop side, you so know, this is someone. This is still someone's son. This is still someone's nephew. This is still, you know, he could have been a father. That's right. You know, so I mean, you know, shout out to the Cambodian community. Yeah. You know, that's that's a rough situation that they're going through. It is. It is. So you know, our hearts go out to you for your loss, purple eyes and kisses, and um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, with the shooting in Colorado, with the shooting every day on the streets of Philadelphia. It is like a, it's like a war. It's like a, a war going on right in the middle of our streets. It's so sad. We gotta do something to change it. And we're thinking about here at Home Park. We're gonna do a march against violence sometime in September. We're gonna invite all of you out to join us. Every district, every hood, to march against this violence in our city. We're gonna try to make a change right here, right now. Back K right here at Home Park. But this is what we're gonna do. Yeah. You gonna help us? Absolutely. And, and, and I wanna give a shout out to uh, young folks over at Peace and Philly. They just did. Uh, down in Love Park, mm -hmm. and it was all young kids there pledging to be peaceful. Right. And um, you know, part of it is that you know I asked each and every one of them there to teach their friends how to handle disputes. Because if you handle it with violence, violence only begets violence. But right. if we figure out how to deal with the slight, how to deal with disrespect in a peaceful way, then you don't perpetuate that cycle of violence. I love it. I love it. And you're absolutely right. So, I mean, we're going to, we're going to come up with some solutions. We're not just going to, you know, talk about it. We're going to come up with some solutions. And we're right. Tony Payton is right. You know, state rep is very right. You have to find a way to eliminate the violence begetting the violence. That's really where it starts. You gotta take back our streets. Yeah, so we're gonna hop into some more music because this is a radio show. We do like to hear all the hottest, hottest live music going, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get this music come back. We're gonna talk about the shootings in West Philly. We're gonna talk about the voter ID rally that went on in Harrisburg that was crazy. Tony Pink State Rep has a lot of information for us on it. And we're gonna talk about state rep situation and moving forward and you know where he's gonna do now in his um, you know, in his spot or with the next Exactly. So uh, we're so excited. Thank you for tuning in. Hey, stop right now. Tell all of your friends in West Philadelphia and abroad to turn into 88.1 FM. Tell your mama, your uncle, your dad. Right now. Right now. Want to hear your radio blasting. Her brother kisses. We love you. Stay tuned. Go to backcakeradioworld.com right now. Or maybe later. You know, have we lost our roots? Is it because we're not as spiritual in this community as we need to be? Maybe we all fear God a little bit more. We would fear killing each other on, like, flops. And crack babies is growing up. And people really have to, this is a serious factor right now in today's society. You have to remember that the 80s was crazy for crack. And those people had babies. And they are teenagers right now. But, but we should also understand that the know, state record, guys, state we, we should also understand that people killing each other is nothing new. It has been going on since the beginning of time. Mm -hmm. What 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 is relatively new is people killing each other with these automatic handguns. AK forty seven. Absolutely. Well, th those sorts of things. I mean, but people. I mean, even during that time when when the crack babies were just becoming. Mm -hmm. I'm using.